Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a general love and life reading for Leo. You could have Leo in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and Pluto placement. Okay. Um, Leo, please keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Um, you know, roles can be reversed, but don't jump to that immediately. Um, listen to it all the way through and then place yourself where it fits, if it fits. If it doesn't, don't try to force it, okay? So with that, with that being said, this could be, you know, something that you're doing or going through. This could be something that your person is doing and or going through. This could be, you know, a family member, a friend, a coworker, a boss, a neighbor, something that they're going through or, you know, something that they're doing and you happen to know about it. This could be, you know, something in your media environment, your town, your city, your overall community, um, your neighborhood. Um, the weather could be affecting you at this time as well. Also, um, please check out your birth chart and compare it to any um, astrological transits that we got going on. Um, I feel like that's going to be really important. We do have a big one coming up, um, Saturn uh, transiting in Pisces for two years. We also have, um, if it hasn't already started, Pluto retrograding in Aquarius. Then it will retrograde into Capricorn, then retrograde back into Aquarius, and then it will stay there for 20 years. It's a big, big deal. So definitely check out all that stuff. Um, there's an app, and I, I, if I'm correct, um, it's a really good app. It's very detailed, very informative. Um, it can even give you like what could be affecting you on that day. Um, I believe it's called um, Astro Matrix. Um, not a pay promotion or anything like that, but um, I have that app. Wait, where's my phone? Let me see if I can tell you exactly what it's called. Hold on. I'll tell you. I just want to make sure I'm telling you right. Yep, Astro Matrix. Yep, it looks like a little, it's like a little purple icon. And it looks like a little planet with like a ring around it. Astro Matrix. Um, I use that. So that's actually really good. Um, there's so much to learn about astrology. So definitely check that out. Um, let's see. If you need or want to get, oh, this definitely can be something happening that happened in the past that's now being revealed. Something currently going on. Or, you know, something coming towards you in the future. As I've been told, my readings can tend to be very future predictive. Um, if you need or want to get a reading that is tailored specifically to your energy and or your situation, my email is in the description box below. Um, if there's going to be an extended to this reading, that will be in the description box and the comment section below. Um, I'm really sorry I wasn't able to do the freebie Friday last month. I'm thinking about doing that this Friday. Um, I will be posting that here later today, which would be, what's this Friday? Hold on, I'll tell you. I remember off the top of my head. I can't remember. Hold on. If I didn't have a calendar, I swear, Leo. Um, that would be the tenth. So it's only a couple of days of promoting it, but might as well because I don't want to give it too much time where I haven't done it. And then I have some other things planned for you guys that I will be announcing very soon and posting on my Facebook and the community tab on YouTube. So definitely check that out. Um also, um, any sales on my personal readings has ended from the winter sale, but I'm about to announce something else for you guys, okay, for the month of love. Um, well, since I'm kind of starting the second week of February, it'll go for look past that. Um, but I'm not quite ready to announce that just yet. Okay, I think I've said everything. Okay, so they want me to get some fortune telling oracle cards first for you. And then um, we'll go into the cross. And the cross will be current situation, root cause, influences, which is, you know. Um, oh, wait. Say that again, Spirit. Oh, you want me to use these cards to do that. Okay. So they want me to use the fortune telling oracle cards um, to do the cross. So we're going to look at the current situation, the root cause, the influences, which could be, you know. Um, mental processes, emotions, past, um, you know, people, places, things, third parties, any magic, maybe it's spiritual aspects as well, anything. We're going to look at the immediate recent past three months or less. Can go a little bit past that, but really three months or less. Then we're going to look at the immediate future, which is um, immediate near future, three months or less. We'll also look at how you feel about the situation. And then we'll look at if this is involving another person, we'll look at how they feel about the situation. Okay. 
Alrighty, let's see. Spirit, show me Leo. Am I taking Jumper Spirit? No. How many shuffles? Two, okay. One. Two, and two of these. One. Two. All right, top or bottom spirit? Bottom, okay. So the current situation that's going on right now, we have the dragon, strength and wisdom. So you're being called to use a lot of strength. This is dragon, so that's fire energy. So this very well could be you. You are um, exerting, very, being very strong, very much in dragons guard their treasure. So you're very protective at this time. But you're using strength, which is you, but also your wisdom. And what is wisdom? Knowledge plus experience equals wisdom, right? Currently. To be very protective over what's going on currently. Okay, root cause. The Chim Chimera says, imagination clouds your judgment. So, which is kind of looks like a lion or like a griffin, but obviously it's not the same creature. Um, Make sure that you know what you're protecting. Also, make sure that you have all the facts first. I mean, I don't know who I've been saying this for. I can't remember what sign it's for. Um, if it if if somebody doesn't have screenshots, voice message, audio recording, videos, um, text messages, whatever, they, if there's no evidence, and they won't produce the evidence, then did it even happen? Someone could be trying to cloud your judgment here, or your judgment could be clouded right now on what to do. You, I'm not trying to judge you, but you may not be thinking. You think you're using strength and wisdom, but you may not have all the facts straight. And it's clouding your judgment. What's the influence of this? The siren. A temptation may lead you astray. Leo. Could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces here. Another Leo. Temptation is what's influencing the situation. You're you having temptation or somebody else around you that's being tempted. Okay. You need don't let temptation ruin cloud your judgment. Okay, because at the at the root cause, the base of this, the foundation of this, it says imagination clouds your judgment. So imagining things, no offense, but delusions. Um, could also be clowning your judgment at this time or somebody else's. But it's because of this temptation that's that could lead you astray. In the recent past, so three months or less, we have the mystical circuit. Your abilities will be enhanced. Magic. This is magic. Okay, near future. Three months or less. The black cat, which to me talks about good luck but can also denote magic or intuition. And it says your luck will soon change. How do you feel about the situation? The wyvern, which is the griffin. So this is like the lion, the dragon, and then we have the wyvern. Your secrets are safe. So this is how you feel about the situation. So you could be keeping secrets from somebody. And how does somebody else, is that, that could be romantic, I feel like this is more romantic. So there could be a, whomever this romantic partner is. How do they feel? The hand of fate. Forces beyond your control intervene. Somebody here is trying to intervene in something that is fated. Leo. What's at the top? The moon. You will be guided through darkness. Somebody here is could be a Cancer Pisces. Is not seeing things very clearly about a situation. Or you're not. Yeah. You, were, you will receive news from afar. The Caduceus. Someone is hiding something about their health. Possibly as well. Yep, this is about love at the bottom. It says true love and fidelity. So this was the next card, right? Which we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, let me see. With the mystic circle in the recent past. And your person. Now this could be a romantic partner. This could be someone that you're currently with. This could be a third party. Somebody, uh, fate, the, the, the three sisters of fate 
are one, either stepping in to correct a situation or, you know, says forces beyond your control intervene. Fate, the three sisters of fate, um, the Norns, okay? This is a fated connection that you're currently in. There could be, with the mystic circle here, there could be, it says your abilities will be enhanced. There is somebody here who's trying to intervene in something, a fated connection that you're currently in, okay? Or if you're not with this person anymore, it's because of somebody's doing magic, okay? Magic. To create illusions, to cloud your judgment, okay, with temptation. Could be a Cancer Pisces that's doing this or has done this. You are keeping secrets right now, all right? But you need to stand strong and to f be strong and wise to avoid, you know, falling into a temptation trap. Yeah, stand strong and wise for true love and fidelity. You need to be faithful here, Leo. Don't let temptation throw you off course. Because they're also, like, someone is here is doing some type of love spells or love magic. What's the chimera? Clouded judgment? Yeah, the key. Locked doors can now be open. So, so before, when you couldn't see something very clearly, you're now going to see it very clearly because that door is now being unlocked. Or you have the key to free yourself from some form of magic. Okay. Temptation. The air. Seek a union of mind and spirit. So spirit, so Gemini Libra Aquarius is coming in to tell you, do not fall for, don't fall for the hokey doke. Don't fall for the temptation because it will lead you astray and off your course. Okay. Mystic circle in the recent past. The gate. A barrier keeps you from your goal. So somebody here was doing magic to keep you from um, being with your person or being true and faithful to your person in the recent past. Okay. Now in the near future though, you have the black cat. So your luck will soon change. What is that about? The spirit, unseen forces watch over you. So you have angels here. You have spirit that's, you have the fates and spirit that are saying, hey, hey, hey. Don't fall for the hokey doke here. Don't fall for it. It will lead you astray. Now your secrets are safe. This is how you feel. The spider, be meticulous and patient. You might be telling somebody secretly to be patient and wait for you. Or you think... Or somebody who is delusional is secretly waiting for you to choose them. I get, yeah, okay. Why is the fates here? Why are they coming up? The wolf, beware of who you trust. The fates are warning you here. Be careful of temptation. And beware of who you trust at this time. Okay. What else? We have the queen, love and prosperity. This is your queen or you are this queen. Okay. So if you are a masculine Leo, you are already, you could be married and you're with your queen, your empress. This is like empress energy, love and prosperity. You don't want to jeopardize that. Okay. Why is the key here? The root cause? Yeah. This rivalry and indulgences. Don't indulge. Don't open up something that you, you know, don't open up that Pandora's box. Don't open up Pandora's box. Because you're being guided. The fates are stepping in saying, hey, 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 spirit and the fates are stepping in saying, listen, you can't trust this siren, this temptation. You could be communicating with this person, this Cancer Pisces. And they're not being honest with you. They're doing magic on you to keep you from your true love. Masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. They're, tr they're trying to block you magically from being with this person who is very faithful and loyal to you. Or somebody's trying to block a masculine from being with you if you are this queen. Show me the... Tell me more. Yeah, seduction. Look. Passion and romance await. But it's temptation. Okay, 
Show me the mystic circle on the gate. Yeah, the green man. The forces of nature favor you. Somebody could be trying to work with elemental magic. Let me get one more. Yeah, the griffin. Honor and good luck. Somebody here is trying to keep you from being honorable and having, having good luck. And they're trying to use the forces of nature against you. Which, I mean, I don't know. Somebody's trying to call in the elements. Someone's trying to invoke the spirit. Or the elements. Um... I would be careful with that. If that's not you, Leo, that is somebody that is this seductress, this temptation. Could be a Cancer Pisces. Um, also Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Strong Capricorn. Could maybe a Sagittarius, but not sure. Somebody here is invoking spirit number one the spirit and also which isn't necessarily safe and someone is trying to call in the corners in order to change your fate and the fates are saying no 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 spirit is saying no 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 you don't get to do that why is the black cat here tell me more yeah earth utilize logic reason and common sense to change your luck here and why is the spirit here the sun, that's you. Your perseverance is rewarded. So unforeseen forces in spirit are watching over you saying, hey, you need to come out of this illusion. Someone could be doing some form of glamour magic as well. Why is the be, be meticulous and patient? Yeah, fire. Reckless actions lead to conflict. Don't be, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Why is beware? Now this is this is who you know who could be you could be dealing with. Someone could be telling you, Leo. Hey, or the fates are telling you. Okay, and it says again, forces beyond your control intervene to tell you beware of who you trust. You got a wolf in sheep's clothing here that you could be dealing with. Um, that is this same seductress and si the siren and the seductress is the same person that the fates are trying to warn you about. Why is beware who you trust here for Leo or this person? Yeah, look, dagger, conflict and danger lie in wait. This is what the fates are trying to warn you about, Leo. Don't be reckless. You have the, you have true love and fidelity here, or this is you. And this is somebody who you're dealing with that's being warned about, um not to fall prey or not to not fall prey but don't fall into the temptation and seduction trap because in reality somebody's secrets aren't actually safe someone could be trying now if this is you who is falling into this seduction trap you've been down this road before leo it would be unwise to take this road again to take this path again indulgences here give me one more on the your secrets are safe the talisman you're destined to succeed yes but not if you're involved listen you're being tested you are being tested you're being tested will you fall into the temptation trap again. Because if you do. It's not going to go well for you. What, tell me more about the danger and conflict please. Yep the serpent. A sly and subtle approach is needed. Someone is telling you hey. I'll keep your secrets. We don't have to tell anybody. We can meet in secret. Blah 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 blah. That's not true. They're going to tell. There, it's, it's, it's a setup. You're being set up. Let me get some tarot on this. Mm. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get into the tarot. So I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to clarify these, the siren and the seduction. I'm also going to clarify more the chimera, which it says, imagination clouds your judgment. I'm also going to clarify the rivalry and indulgences in the extended I'm going to look at the mystic circle let's see I'm going to look at the secrets 
I'm going to say reckless um, actions lead to conflict. I'm going to look at sly and subtle approach in the extended. The dagger says conflict and danger lie in wait. I'm also going to look at beware of who you trust. I'm going to look at the hand of fate in the extended. I'm also going to look at the spirit as well. Okay, put this off to the side. Oh, also I'm going to do your 12, um, you versus all 12 zodiac signs here in just a second. Anything else that Leo needs to know about this situation? Hourglass. Time is of the essence. So you, there's a deadline here. Yeah, shield. You are safe from harm. You need to protect one. You need to protect your time. Time management is going to be key here. What else? And serendipity, bright new prospects are on the horizon. Okay. Protect your new uh, business endeavors is what I'm hearing. And also got hindrance. Fate has blocked this path for you. It's, yeah. Water. Emotions are at their peak. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And Caduceus, you receive news from afar about something, about new prospects here. But again, with the moon, it's illusionary. This illusionary, Leo. You need to be careful. You're being tempted and you're being tested big time. Like if you will fall for it. If this hasn't already happened, it could be happening soon. So you could be in the midst of this happening right now, being tested and tempted. Or this is coming towards you. Where am I going to put this? Let me see. Nope. Let's do your all 12 signs. Let's see. We'll use this. All right, so show me. Um, so in the extended, I'm going to clarify all of these, get all the nitty gritty details about this. I'm also going to look at a potential outcome. And I want to see, will you fall for the temptation? Will you pass this test? Will your person fall for the temptation? Will they pass this test? What happens if you pass it? And what happens if you don't or your person, okay? Let's see. Show me um, Leo versus all 12 zodiac signs, please. Show me Leo, all 12 zodiac signs, Aries to Pisces. Show me Leo versus all 12 zodiac signs, Aries to Pisces, please. Wait, no, one more? Okay. Two more. Okay, two more shuffles. Show me Leo versus all 12 zodiac signs, Aries to Pisces. One more. go all right so leo if you are dealing with an aries camera nostalgia replay old pictures they have photo evidence of something or they look at your pictures often and they're very nostalgic about you they miss you if you're dealing with a taurus fun flirty tease they're flirting with you very much a tease here or they think you're a tease or that you're a flirt um if you're dealing with a gemini clouds fog haze confusion there's a, you got a Gemini that's really confused about you or you're very confused about a Gemini. If you're done with a Cancer, Maze, Strategy, Figuring Out, Mastermind. This Cancer is manipulating you. Why? Chameleon, Camouflage, Incognito, and Adaptation. It's hidden. You can't see that this person is um, manipulating you. This Cancer is 100% manipulating you. Yep, they are not who they appear to be. And they're, they are doing this on purpose. It's very much strategic. And now if you're dealing with another Leo or this is you, sunflower, bright future, happy days. You just want to be happy here. Okay. You do have a happy future coming in towards you. You don't want to mess that up with temptation. Yeah. Gavel, judgment day, final decision. You Are you, you, this could be you or this could be another Leo. You are making a decision to choose to be happy and have a bright future. And it's a final decision. Also, there could be something involving courts. I'm not a lawyer, so I can't, um give you legal advice if you're dealing with a virgo coffee beans snooze wake up call fresh start this virgo wants to have a new start with you they've received some type of wake up call they're trying to start anew with you um yeah maybe y'all might meet up for coffee or something you and this virgo if you are dealing with a libra smoke grenade sabotage explosion and smoke 
you don't see something very clearly and something is about to pop off between you and a Libra. Why? Chocolate cupcake, tasty treat, unexpected surprise. Somebody here is going to fall. There could be a Libra that falls for temptation or you fall for temptation regarding a Libra and the situation pops off. It explodes. Okay. Be careful of eating anything that a Libra gives you, Leo. If you're done with a Scorpio, red maple leaf, seasons, time-lapse cycles. You and this um, Scorpio, something could be happening in the fall between you and a Scorpio, but you and the Scorpio um, are going through, you know, the test of time. Why? Witch, spell work, black magic. Listen, if, listen, there could be a Scorpio um, that somebody's doing magic on. So there's a Scorpio that is under spiritual attack by a witch who's doing spell work on them, who's doing um, not like malicious or baneful type of magic on a Scorpio. Or if you're dealing with a Scorpio Leo, there is um, a baneful witch who's doing magic on you, Leo, to keep you from a Scorpio. Why? Ladder, climbing new heights and elevate because they don't want this person to elevate or they don't want you to elevate. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Locked door, impenetrable, blocked off, closed off. This Sagittarius doesn't want anything to do with you or you don't want anything to do with the Sagittarius. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, water, emotions, feelings, and replenish. This, this Capricorn's got deep emotions, deep feelings for you. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, lipstick, uh, flirt, in, uh, infidelity, and evidence. This Aquarius could be finding evidence that you cheated on them or you are finding evidence um, that this Aquarius has cheated on you. Again, make sure that is true evidence. Okay, if they can't produce it, it didn't happen. Why? Calculator, financial strain, money problems, and survival. Somebody here, an Aquarius could be finding um, evidence of infidelity that you cheated on them, Leo, in the financial, like banking statements and stuff like that, or vice versa. If you're dealing with a Pisces, Spider-Man, superhero, invincible, and vulnerable, and sneaky. This Pisces is exceptionally sneaky. They, they think they're trying to like be your hero and save you from something. What What is it? Bookshelf, karmic lessons. This, I'm telling you, if you're sneaking around with the Pisces, Leo, both of you are going to get karmic lessons here. Why? Yeah, uh, fancy pink sandals, empress, beauty, and fame. You think that this um, Pisces is your empress, but really they're not. If it's, I'm just going to say this. If you're dealing with a Pisces, Leo, if it begins in deception, Leo, it will end in deception. If they cheat with you, they'll cheat on you, period. Okay? All right, that's all your 12 signs. Let me get your guidance here. And right now we got Saturn. Well, we're about to have Saturn transiting Pisces. Some Pisces are getting, if you got Saturn in Pisces, that is going to be a Saturn return. That's a lot of karmic lessons. Karmic lessons. Big time. Also, um, Leo, if you think a Pisces is going to be faithful to you, they're not. They're only, they're not loyal to nobody, only themselves. They don't care. Yeah. You're trying to butter somebody up and smooth things over to bring in some type of balance and alignment that just fell out of the deck. Okay, let's see your guidance. Or maybe you feel like somebody else is doing this with you. All right, guidance, please, for Leo. And then I'm going to go into the kingdom. Wait, hold on. For this, before I do this. Let's see what signs. It could be any sign that we've already said. But let's see what signs are involved here. What signs are involved here, please, for Leo? A Pisces. Libra. A Taurus. An Aries. Yourself or another Leo, Capricorn, Cancer. So Leo, you could be done with the Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Libra, another Leo, or this is you, Taurus, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, your chart, their chart combination of the two. All right. They want also, let me get Scrabble tiles before I get to the guidance. All right. So this could be first, middle, last initial of your name. Your person's name, any third party's name. This could also be additional messages. So what do you got for Leo, please? Leo, please. Okay. Okay. 
Mm. All right, first letter is G, T, D, L, A, T, E, Y, P, O, oh, there we go, R, N, E, I. Okay. All right, now guidance. This one? Spirit? Oh, they want me to use a really different. Okay. They Okay. You re, seriously? Okay. Hold on. Okay. They want me to use the Oracle of the Witch. I'll have to read from the book, though. Show me what's going on. What guidance do you have, please? Ow. What guidance do you have, please, for Leo? Some of you need to get a haircut or a trim on your hair. Like, you know, trim your hair if you've got long hair or if you're a guy, you just need to get a cut or something. Okay. I'll just see if they had anything else to say. <laughs> One more shuffle. Pay attention to animals around you. They're, they're talking to you. There's signs and omens regarding animals. All right, guidance, please, for Leo. Why do you want to use this deck? Guidance here for Leo, please. Okay, we have casting a circle, the mystic circle. Told you, boundaries. You need to work on boundaries here, Leo. Yep, and we also, they also want me to read secrets. It says, witches script secrets at the bottom. Okay. I'm gonna work with this okay all right let's see casting circle let me find it it's number 37 which talks about 10 which is you know endings and beginnings um things coming full circle also for those of you who who are practitioners leo which is whatever be mindful of what you cast Because it may be coming back to you. That's what I heard. All right. This talks about cast a circle around you with a pointed finger to show the to show the disrespectful where the door once was. Not what? Casting a circle boundaries. It says cast a circle around you with a pointed finger to show the disrespectful where the door once was. Energy vampires. And boundary pushers be gone. A witch who stands in her power or his power. So you could be a man, could be a warlock. I don't know. It says, does not feel guilty for putting in place her natural defenses. For she knows it is vitally important to honor yourself first and foremost before all, uh, all others. This is the way of the goddess who naturally commands both boundaries and respect. We witches of old urge you to simply walk away from unnecessary drama and, for, and from those who would walk all over you. <coughs> when, you when you say a big fat no... To those who push you to your limits and those who intrude on your sacred space, you reclaim your strength and power as a witch. So some of you could be witches or warlocks or magicians and don't eat or wizards or whatever and don't even know it. Okay. And others of you who do know it, you might be doing something that is disrespectful to other people's magical spiritual boundaries, which would make you doing, you know, baneful magic, which would make you not so nice. And need, someone needs to maybe banish you. Okay. It says, how other people react to the boundaries you've put into place is entirely their problem, not yours. Observe, but ignore reactions. Whenever you are met with resistance, remove yourself swiftly from the situation by showing the perpetrator the door 
with your cake ass pointy witchy boot. If self-care in this way is new to you, it may feel challenging to draw a line with those whom are close to you, but the benefits will far outweigh the unnecessary feelings of discomfort, resentment, stress, anxiety, guilt, and fear that rise whenever you are taken advantage of or don't feel appreciated. Also, too, temptations coming in to tempt you if you will respect the boundaries of a relationship as well. And you might need to stand in your power and stand in your honor Male or female doesn't matter until that temptress, that seductress, that siren to get to step in. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Okay. It says, look at your own behavior when you can't get what you want. A simple lack of awareness or an inability to see how boundary pushing affects another person often stem from low self-esteem or a self-serving attitude. When there is a disregard for emotions and values or a disrespect for beliefs and needs, enforcing healthy boundaries is a way of defining what you find acceptable and unacceptable. Enough is enough. It is time to make a stand and discern who is and who is and who is not invited into your inner sanctum, your magic circle. We witches of old insist that when crafting your path, the first ritual you should undertake is boundary work, casting a circle and enforcing a shield of power, shielding te techniques, which are such as imagining a circle of light around you deflect and protect against the energies of others with pointed finger with finger pointed become the boundary badass. We know we know you to be and defend your circle of magic while building your very own cone of power within. Now, this could also be your person who is needing to protect the boundaries of the relationship and the household. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Like you, someone could be putting up very strong boundaries with you, Leo. And it said, and you may not like that. Okay, and it says light side. It says know and identify your limits. Your power increases as you define and enforce boundaries with others. It is time to push away those who wish to hold you back. Okay, then they said witch's script number 30. Okay, where is it? I'm back this way. It says allow magic inside you to initiate mystical writings from the depths of your soul it says keep your it says keep your cards close to your chest for another seeks your knowledge for themselves someone's either someone is coming for your secret magic sauce or whatever your secret magic or your magical abilities or that of your persons you got somebody on the outside of your primary connection whether it's a romantic third, it feels like it's a romantic third party whatever who is literally trying to tap into either your energy and or your person's energy or maybe even both to get to somebody somebody has powerful magic and they want it for themselves it says um be integral as a keeper of secrets um when deciding what should and should not be shared at this time Again, your secrets are safe. So you could be keeping your person's secrets or they're keeping yours. And somebody on the outside of this connection really, really wants it really, really bad. Okay. So I guess I can, I mean, these are pretty self-explanatory. Also, you, if you are in a primary connection, you and your person shouldn't have any secrets. You need to be honest with them and they need to be honest with you. Point blank period. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that has been the reading. I'm going to go into the extended and do some clarification, really get into the nitty gritties here. Um, and I want to see again, clarify those cards from the YouTube reading. I also want to see what's going to happen here, what a potential outcome is going to be. Um, someone is, I'm also hearing someone is trying to mess with your fate and your fated connection that you're currently in. Someone's trying to, to mess with it. Don't fall for the temptation, Leo or cross watcher. Don't, mm -mm, don't fall for it. Um, it doesn't lead to anywhere good. Let's uh, see what else. Um, I'm also going to look at if you um, don't fall for the temptation and what's going to happen there. And if you do fall for the temptation, what's going to happen there? And I'm going to get into the tarot and everything, okay? The link to the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you so much, Leo. I truly do with all my heart. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And um, take care of yourself till next time. Bye.